Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Kevin Holmes with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines. An all-out brawl erupted tonight at the end of the Sunflower Showdown. It was a blowout. KU far ahead of K-State, but right at the end, things kind of got ugly at Allen Fieldhouse. Benches cleared, punches thrown. KU Sylvia DeSosa in the middle of, a, of it all. Coaches Bill Self and Bruce Weber ended up in the middle of it as well, but they were at midcourt shaking hands when the brawl started. After the fight calmed down, Officials put one second back on the clock for technical free throws. Then they ejected every player who came off the bench. We're still learning more about Sunday's nightclub shooting in KC Mo. At least six victims are still in the hospital. And tonight we talk with one man who helped save two of the victims. Just minutes after Dominique Harlan walked inside the doors, the gunman started firing shots. A lady herself fell on the floor. She had fell on me and pretty much she was letting me know she had been shot. And uh, when I felt like it was the right time to, to uh, pick her up and carry her to a safety spot. I had picked her up and carried her to a safety spot. I'd do it again for him if I had to. Now Harlan is hoping to get in touch with the two women he helped carry to safety. Construction on the Rock Island Trail could soon start again. A federal agency ruled today the county can move forward with this project. Jackson County will work with Union Pacific on the new agreement. Landowners sued last year in April when Jackson County built over railroad tracks. Those lawsuits are still pending, by the way. Rulings by the Surface Transportation Board will let halted work on the trail twice. Here's Gary Lezak with your forecast. Kevin, we're expecting snow in the morning, anywhere from a dusting to up to three three inches close to three inches there at KCI and Olathe. So we'll see how heavy it comes when it first moves in about five or six in the morning. By late morning in the afternoon, it should rise above freezing and that should get the roads to get slushy or just wet. So the worst part of this storm is likely early in the morning that could affect the morning rush hour. And then Thursday, there's another storm. We'll deal with that then. All right, remember, get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.